Hello and welcome back everyone to the live session on anubavtrainings.com. I personally welcome all of you to this live stream on YouTube. And our topic for today is, can we use multiple data sphere models in a single SSE story? So if you are building a data sphere collection of different objects for analytical purpose, is it possible to use all of them in a single dashboard? in SAP Analytics Cloud? This was a very important question asked by many of you over the email. And today we will try to investigate and find an answer for the same. So in a simple answer, it's possible. But let's go ahead and look that into the system as well. Before we start the live session, please hit the like button. Also kindly try to put your questions in the live stream over here in case you have any. So let's get started. So what you can do is option to one is you can directly add a page over here and then you can link to the new model. So one dashboard can use multiple models. It's possible. So it's an interview question. Is it possible to use multiple analytical model from data sphere in SAP analytic cloud single story? The answer is yes. So let's go ahead and add a new responsive page. Responsive pages are used in case you want to build your dashboard for mobile ready. So let's choose that. We can start adding the widgets here by opening the panel from the left and right. And now we can start adding the widgets. So let me add first a chart. And I would like to choose my model. So you see there is this button. Currently the analytic cloud story is pointing to one of the analytic model from data sphere, which is sales order. I will change this model here. It gives me a warning. That's a key. And now I have option to choose another model. I go back to our SAP data sphere connection. Go open the space and I should see my store transaction analytic model from data sphere. I choose that. So you can already observe and see now that it is possible to add multiple models which are coming out of data sphere in a single dashboard from analytic cloud. Fantastic. So you see it is giving me a date prompt. I right now set it to empty to see all data and let's add here the total revenue per store yeah, or per sales manager. and. Now what I do is I just add a chart to show the total revenue. And you see total revenue is this much. Now this number is quite big, so we can apply a scaling capability. We can go to the styling panel in the, design, in the analytics cloud, and we can just choose here different options like scaling. So we say, show me the scaling in KBN and default scale format is 1000. So you see 60,000, 60,639,000 uh, is the total revenue. Like this we can show the values. So maybe right now unformat it because we will do also the drill down. I'm going to switch over back and I will now choose my dimension ID as store ID. And you see it is showing store IDs. Now basically when it you build a dashboard, you don't want user to see the store IDs. It will make more sense for user to see the store names. That is more semantic information for the end user. So what you can do is you can come back to more option and say display as ID and description. Okay, it's not showing. Never mind. We can just close this. Click on add. Expand the association. Remember, we had association and now we have options to choose. So I can I have a store ID. I don't have a store name as such. I think we the store name is already it is already showing the store name. These are the store names only. Why? Because we have already done the semantic enrichment in our dimension. Now I will also show that show me ID and description together. So it's basically store name and store IDs are seen in the data set. All right. So thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of SAP Data Sphere. As usual. 
please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on SAP Datasphere, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP BTP, UI5 Fury, or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud. So do not forget to visit www.anubavtrainings.com. Also, shoot us an email on contact at anubavtrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that, Anubhav signing out. Once again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next episode.